Hello everyone, KDXL here and welcome to another episode from the Dynasty s and I am very thankful that you clicked on this video and first and foremost I would like to thank everyone for the support that the last video I really appreciate it a lot. Uh, thank you, yeah thank you. <laughs> okay, the plan for today is to find myself an area to call home, probably a village and build myself my starter house because this is just an outpost this is just an outpost at spawn and i would also like to get the early game early game minecraft grind out of the wheel as well to get myself some better tools and maybe some better armor which i am just going to do now since exploring is kind of boring i'll just cut to when i get to the place yeah Okay, I on my way exploring I found this village here. It seems looted from what I can gather. It seems looted, it's like 1300 blocks away from spawn, which isn't far. I mean it's really good just in case I die I and I don't have a respawn point set here. It I could easily travel back to this place. I mean I mean, there's one villager right here, and there's a bell which I will be taking. Thank you very much. The tower is lagging, but I am used to that already. And there's another villager. Yeah, okay, I can make a villager breather now. At least I can make a village breather. Let me see. Okay, why I did not run it? Go back to your homes. Let me trap you. Oh, come on come on run okay is this a bedrock thing that the bells don't make the villagers want to go home anymore am i just oh well at least i know oh there's another village villager right here which means i have three of them which is good i mean you only need two for villager breeder but i will not complain let's see if he will also go okay why wow, this village is not responding go to your homes please or at least i can just trap you later okay, where's the where is he oh he's, he's inside i should trap him as fast where's the door <laughs> okay here i should just block him in this is a really big house by the way, I don't think I've seen a lot like this. Or maybe in Java playthroughs or something. But yeah. Now I'll try to trap the other ones as well. And find myself a place to build. Yeah, find myself a place to build. Yeah. I think right here is okay. I mean, normally I would like to be a little bit farther from the village, but since I have trapped every villager here, I think this spot will do as well. I mean, you can't, I can't really give an aerial view of the area, but it's quite flat at the top. I'm really high up. And for what I plan, I think it will go well for this plot as well. So yeah, I'm going to get the a Minecraft telegram done gather some resources and just show you the process of me building so yeah
and welcome back uh, it's, it's been a while yeah it's been a while and there's been a couple of changes first let me walk you through what i have built so far well what i have built to the starter house here we have a path there's two paths actually one it's leading directly to the entrance and there's my <laughs> camera stage yeah i have both those all around i made kind of a custom biome here with some custom trees which was really fun the path is just simple rough and the messy and stuff one leading into the castle itself i would would i really call it a castle yeah and there's one leading over to the other side where the bridge is and yeah i really love the trees all around makes the build all comes together i mean the terrain does take away from the height of the castle thing itself but yeah yeah there's a path leading towards here i don't know what i'll put here but i'll think of something i honestly the trees really just bring it all together like i i am this is the best one i've done so far and i'm really proud of it, it feels like you're walking through like a magical forest kind of thing but yeah even though i did not it does need more trees to be honest yeah and yes i have wasted i mean going through all my food like two stacks of steak trying to build this thing. yeah and i really love the sceneries that it makes looking towards the castle with the boulders i mean i should have textured the boulders well but you know <laughs> yeah i can't if i should uh, start making sure every detail is perfect i would not release the video on time which by the way i told myself that i would be doing it weekly i don't know how true that is oh that will be awesome i do plan every tuesday to release it in a video and the bridge itself was like a last minute uh wasn't planned i just decided to add like a bridge going towards the side since i'll be making use of the other side the trees because some trees around here as well to block the village path that i've been working with as you can see here there is no no door yes i do know that <laughs> and the interior one in the interior is not that uh yeah you'll see the interior itself actually there is no door here because i don't know what to put there the interior is just a mishmash of things i don't i am not really good to interiors there's a crafting area which will be put here there's a makeshift uh this is going to be my storage area by the way just to put it in the chest i have a throne of some sort here i mean it's a castle i have to have a throne with myself you know just uh, <laughs> it's useless god damn useless yeah yeah the interior this is the main space we have right here we have the kitchen area some barrels all around furnace and can you put the berry no you cannot put a berry okay uh, that's good to know and yeah it's barrels all over the wall just a kitchen area there's a hidden chest right here just for me to put my things in and the stair leading there's a stairs leading upstairs <laughs> leading upstairs here is my room i mean i will change the ceiling i don't know what to do with it yet but right here is my room i have a bed here double bed because you know because i'm the, the the king you know <laughs> there's a window here to look over the, the sceneries more armor stands over here you can see the throne and these the purpose of these um slabs over here is just to just for you to get up and see the things around because the blocks do block you <laughs> they do block your view so you have to like uh, have a step up to be able to see things clearly i mean as you can see here it does need more trees which i will be adding uh later because i've been working on this for a while and i need <laughs> uh okay so yeah the upstairs here is really empty i would like to hang some panels around as well just to add more decoration to it and fill the space up 
and over to the side here i added moss and walls but with those are walls mix could um cracks kind of give the intention that the castle or the structure is kind of like decaying and yeah just minimal leaf placage which i have which i have i think it works better than when you just spam leaves all around the spruce here was meant to be the background thing for the castle but i could not get it to grow well or you know it looked good yeah so i built my own <laughs> So yeah, something I have learned is uh, minimal block, minimal leaf placage really makes it pop and makes what you're doing uh, show more. I, I'm going to show the upstairs because I did not show. I mean, there will be a better stairs I don't know. But yeah, over here is meant to be like a garden or something. Maybe I'll plant something or make a tree, probably maybe some engine light and yeah you can see the as i said it needs more trees for you to look at something pretty the tower over here um yeah i don't know what to do with it it's a, it's a tower i mean yeah of course it's a tower it leads to the bridge which will lead toward to an area that i'll plan out or something i don't i really don't know what the main structure will look like i just go along and yeah there's just a uh, maybe the storage area again maybe that's what i'll use it for there's a bridge here and it's right here yeah it leads towards the path and maybe to another village custom village i built later on and have it all connected by rails or something i mean it'll be cool or maybe to like a uh, waterfall like a custom waterfall <laughs> i do need feather falling honestly i've been uh, look at this scenes from here is just gorgeous i really do like this i really do like this oh building it does not take the long time it's the collection process and the getting good tools process that is what really took a long time and i really enjoy this Thank you all so much for watching the video. Do consider leaving a like and leaving a comment on what I should improve better and what you think about the build. I'm on the road to 100 subs, help me get there and have a great day.